Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, I got my childhood in a box. Let's open it up, check it out. Okay, so I think everybody that's watching this video right now can really, really think back to toys that we had as a kid, right? Now, I'm a big G.I. Joe's guy, and I grew up with G.I. Joe's. That was my main thing when I was younger and when I was a little kid. G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe. Hence why I've been sort of recreating that. This, however, is non-G.I. Joe, and it was cool. And I had one when I was a kid, and I just wanted to get one again. So, uh, yeah, this actually comes from California Creations. Um, there was one thing growing up that I used to enjoy watching on TV, okay? Okay. And that was uh, ABC Wide World of Sports. How Howard Cosell was on it, and it was so much fun. And they, they covered all kinds of things, you know, uh, skiing and, and, you know, all kinds of sports, you know, Wide World of Sports. But there was one thing that I looked forward to every time I could see it on TV, and that's what's in this box. That's what this box represents. So, without further ado... I have the Evil Knievel Stunt Cycle right there. Uh, yeah, this was this was a really really fun toy when I was uh, when I was growing up. Um, but you can go to evilknievel.com. You you can order these now. This one here is the tra Trail Bike Edition. Uh, it's the black version, but uh, yeah. This is, uh, this is cool. <laughs> this is really, really cool. Uh, but check out the box. I mean, the packaging is, is great. We got this right up here. Uh, just to give you some of the, uh, for wheelies, you know, how you positioned him on the bike, did thing. You can do head, head stands, saddle stands, cross bike stands. <sighs> The Energizer feet on the cycle. Oh man, this is this is cool. This is cool. And I've been following some folks on uh, social media, and they 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 use these and they've been playing with them. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I decided to get one. <sighs> what do we got? We got boxes. I'm trying to remember. Um, I'll have to go online and do some searching, but I do remember vaguely that it did come in a box. And I think I got this as a Christmas present one year, I think, or a birthday present. I can't, I can't completely remember. I just remember getting it. And at the time I thought it was the coolest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> All right, now, another thing about this, there's no instruction with it. The actual instructions um, are actually on the back, on the, yeah, they're actually on the box. The Energizer assembly, tells you how to put the figure on the handlebars. But getting back to uh, Wild World of Sports, anything that Evil Knievel did that was televised, I watched it. That was, that was my thing. Everything. And... I was just, I, I don't know. I just, I was, wow. And then whenever I'd see things, I'd go outside on my bicycle. I'd build a ramp. I'd try to jump things. Sometimes it worked. Sometimes it didn't. I don't know if this actually will be the same or not, but I do remember a very distinctive sound uh, as you energized it. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, it just clicks in. Okay. Oh, the gear ratio. But yeah, this was such a fun toy. As I struggle here. 
Well, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I don't want to break it. <laughs> I don't want to break. I don't want to break it. What is that? What is that doing? I think, if I remember correctly, this was one piece. The original. <laughs> this is pure nostalgia. This is all this really is. But, yeah, don't think I won't get out there and play with it. Oh, uh, we got the bike. Look at this. And the figure's like seven inches, too. So it's like, you know, DC size. But look at that. That is so, so wickedly cool. Oh, my goodness. And he, he stands up on his own. Or the bike actually stands up on its own, too. So got the figure. Now... I may have to do some modifications to this figure. And what I mean by that is, uh, in regards to this right here. So, don't be surprised. I did have alternatives when it came to this. Um, so, you know, we got the classic helmet, but uh, maybe a Mando helmet. I don't know. Got the figure itself right there. Very, very cool. It's basically a, a, a rubber type figure. Um, you know, that's and, that, and that's the way it was back then. I'm actually pretty surprised on how well it actually, I mean, this, this brings back so many memories. Oh, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out, okay. So basically, to get the hands on, you actually come in on the front of the handlebars based on what the box just said. And you, you basically slide the hands down over the grips. Yeah, like that. So many things are popping back in my head. So many things that I can think back to that I tried to, to jump with this thing. It was awesome. I'm gonna take his helmet off for now. Get the, where's his feet go? Where's his feet go? What is that? I'm trying to find, oh, do they go? Oh, they go in there, okay. It's got like little holes right here that his feet goes in. So I have to, I'm going to have to seriously play with the figure and get him where he, he's bent right and everything. That's the one thing. I'm trying to figure out what this uh, on the back here is. It even tells you ramps. Use the stow and go ramp for easy jumps. Yeah, there's a stow and go. It has a 12 inch by 23 inch ramp. Yeah. Build your own transition, 45 degree angle, 10 feet apart. All right, let me see if I can get him posed up better. This is like this, this, this figure actually reminds me too of the uh, Gumby figure. Let me get his belt up here. Does his feet go underneath? trying to think of his oh they do okay okay ah oh, there we go they actually go behind that peg like that <laughs> this is so cool so so much fun so yeah i will definitely uh i'll definitely have to do a video um of him jumping and stuff so basically, to, to actually get it to work, you got these little slots right here. You basically, on the back of the bike, you got these pegs. You basically slide them in, if I remember correctly. Is that the way it went? Let me look here. God, it's been so long.
Oh my gosh, this is so neat. Energizer, pull back in this direction, slot, positioning pin. Okay. Positioning pin. Okay, that, yeah, that just goes in there like that. I just got to, uh, I just got to figure it out. Uh, I mean, this is... So basically, all right, so the way this works is as you wind it, that gives you your speed. As soon as you stop, that's what it takes off because it just engages. But how cool is this? So when you get it in the slot, you start the energizing. Oh my goodness. I mean, this was, you know, here's the cool thing. This is when toy, this, this right here is toys in a nutshell. I mean, something that you could go out, interact with, uh, play with. You could create your own things. You, like I said, you can do handstands, you can do jumps, um, all kinds of, of things. Let's see here. Play stunts in a wind up as soon as possible. If you succeed, the stunt cycle will rear up on his back wheel on a fantastic wheelie. So that's for wheelies as far back as possible. I don't care about handstand. So this is for the uh, this is for the the saddle stand. He put his feet underneath it. But my main thing is I want to try to get I want to try to get him where he actually sits on the bike good. That's my main thing. <laughs> All right, that's, that's a little better. That's okay, that's a little better right there. We're getting there. Get him all posed up. Yeah, let's see if we can get his, get his feet in there. <laughs> I definitely want to know in the comments. Um, I mean, I know there's a lot of people that really big into, like I said, G.I. Joe's and, and things like that. Um, He-Man, um, Transformers, you know, all the stuff. I totally, everybody was into stuff. Um, was anybody else in the Evil Knievel? You would probably have to be in my age bracket to be part of that group. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't know if too many, um, and I know they, they, they did re reproduce this. This is a reproduction, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm not for sure if they ever really brought it back out later on, but, uh, yeah. I'm about to trim his belt too. All right, we're gonna get him in there. That's the one thing about the uh, the the spongy figures like this. There, the articulation is there, but it's not like crazy there. I mean, this thing wasn't really designed to be like crazy articulated. There's only so much you can do with with the the uh, the sponginess of it, but. Uh, There we go. Boom. He's ready to, he's ready to take flight. Uh, I think I've got an old, I think I still got it, an old uh, skateboard ramp. That'd be awesome. I'm definitely going to be doing some, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing some jumps with him. I'm going to be doing some fun with him, doing some, uh, I think it'd be really cool to do some slow-mos. But uh, yeah, right there. Boom. Evil Knievel, Stunt Cycle, uh, Friction Power. And I may have to check into this uh, Stow and Go. The Stow and Go sounds pretty good. Launch. Oh, okay, so if you buy two of them, you get a launch and a landing ramp. But you can actually do a 10-inch jump, a 7-inch jump, or a 5-inch jump. So, yeah, right there. Boom. Uh, they also had the Pro Series, uh, which is all black. 
Uh, that one's pretty cool as damn. This is actually, that is actually inspired by the 1967 Ascot Park Jump. So, but I sort of wanted to try to have some classic. Again, they were sold out of the white bike. Uh, so the black bike is the one I got. But guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said earlier, let me know in the comments, does this bring back any memories for you like it does for me? Um, I definitely want to know. Also, let me know what your favorite you know, toy was growing up. Uh, do you do you have those? Do you collect those? Uh, I'm really curious about that. So, uh, stow and go, evil Knievel, stunt cycle. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed it. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure and uh, turn notifications on if you do. Give me a like on the video enjoy, if you enjoyed it. All this stuff helps the channel grow, and I do appreciate the interaction. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, that's where I'll be posting a lot of stuff related to this, as well as other things that I do on my channel. Uh, but all the links of that's in the description. I'll put a link to where you can get one of these in the description. Um, but yeah. Give me a shout. Give me a shout out. Uh, or give me a shout on uh, social media, and uh, we'll we'll talk about stuff. And finally, please always remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.